Fine, so we're still dealing with one dimensional flows, but now we focus on an area called bifurcations. So this lecture is going to be a brief introduction to the area of bifurcation theory. Now, dynamics of vector field on the line are actually not so exciting. The solutions either go ahead and settle down towards an equilibrium or they actually go off to plus or minus infinity. So in that sense, they're not extremely exciting uh, dynamics. So what really is exciting about one dimensional systems? And the answer turns out to be its dependence on parameters. The qualitative structure of the flow can actually change quite dramatically as system parameters are varied. For example, fixed points can be created or destroyed and the stability of the fixed point itself may change as system parameters are varied. So the qualitative change in dynamics is what we referred to as bifurcations and the parameter values at which such bifurcations occur are called bifurcation points. So we're really delving into this area of applied mathematics called bifurcation theory. It's really the study of changes in the qualitative or topological structure of dynamical systems. So a bifurcation occurs when a small smooth change to some parameter values referred to as bifurcation parameters of a differential equation causes a sudden qualitative or topological change in its behavior. Now interestingly, the name bifurcation apparently was first introduced by Henry Poincaré in the year 1885. So bifurcations essentially provide us with a way to understand transitions and instabilities as some system control parameter actually varies. Consider a simple example, the buckling of a beam. So you have a beam, the beam has a certain weight which is placed on top of it and if we go ahead and increase the weight beyond a certain critical value, the beam actually buckles. So what we find is that the beam has buckled under the weight when the weight crosses a certain value. So with a small weight, the beam remains vertical and can comfortably support the load. As the weight increases, the beam then buckles under the weight and we observe a qualitative change in the system. So in this example, the weight acts as the control parameter and the deflection of the beam from the vertical is the dynamical variable. So this is our first example where we observe bifurcation phenomena happening, i.e. where there is a qualitative change in the system when a certain parameter varies. The dynamics of the vector field on the rail line are not very exciting. Now one of two things can actually happen. Number one is that the solution can actually blow off to infinity or the solutions which actually converge to some fixed point. So there's only these two things that really happen and you say well what's so exciting about dynamics uh, of vector fields on the real line? And the answer turns out to be its dependence on parameters. Now when you construct a model of the real world almost 
every model that you find will have some parameter or the other. In fact, usually they have too many parameters. So the question we are interested in is that how does changes in the parameter of the underlying model actually induce a qualitative change in the dynamics. And that can happen in one of two ways. Number one is that either fixed points can be created or destroyed as parameters vary or the stability of the fixed points themselves can change. Yeah. So these are two important qualitative changes that can actually happen in the system as a parameter actually varies. And we gave a very simple example to just get our motivation and get our intuition in order. And that is that imagine you have a beam and on top of the beam you have a certain weight. And the, 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 the beam can actually hold the weight without actually buckling. But now what we do is we slowly increase the weight. When the weight increases a certain threshold, you will actually find that the beam buckles. So this transition from the beam being straight when the weight is small to the beam buckling when the weight is big actually is a qualitative change in the system dynamics. So the weight actually acts as a control parameter and as that parameter varies, there is a qualitative change in the system dynamics. So this is just you know a brief motivation to bifurcation theory and why we would be interested in bifurcations in the system and in particular the role that parameters will play in inducing bifurcation phenomena of a certain type.